In this problem, we're told a small fly of mass 0.25 grams is caught in a spider's web. The web oscillates predominantly with a frequency of 4 Hz. A. What is the value of the effective spring stiffness constant K for the web? B. At what frequency would you expect the web to oscillate if an insect of mass 0.5 grams were trapped? So let's go ahead and start with A. So for A, what we're trying to do is solve for K, right? So we're trying to solve for uh, the spring stiffness constant K. So how do we solve for this? So keep in mind what we're given. So we want to write down what we're given first. So what are we told? We're given two different values, right? We're given the mass, right, which is 0.25 grams, and we're also given the frequency, right? So we're given the frequency, which is 4 hertz, right? So somehow we want to find an equation that relates the mass, the frequency, uh, k, and, and so we can actually solve, right? So you might assume Hooke's law, which is f equals kx, right? But this is force and this is distance. We don't have either of those. So there's got to be some other formula that we can use. Right, and so luckily there's a formula that relates all these, which is a formula for frequency, which is frequency is equal to one over two pi multiplied by the square root of k over m. Right, so what we should notice about this formula is we have all these variables, right? We have the frequency, we have the mass, and we should be able to solve for this spring constant k. Right, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to plug things in and solve. But before we do that, we have to make sure uh, these are in the correct uh, units. So frequency we measure in hertz, uh, mass has to be in kilograms, and so that'll make it so k is in newton meters or newton over meter, sorry. And so uh, we can just go ahead and um, convert this first, right? So 0.25 grams, if we want to convert that, right, you just divide by 1,000 because there's 1,000 grams, right? There's 1,000 grams for every 1 kg. So you can just divide by 1,000 essentially. And if you go ahead and do that, right, you're going to get it equals 0 0.00025. Uh, kilograms right yeah so this is gonna be the kilograms and now what we can do is actually go ahead and plug it in but what we want to do is go ahead and solve for k so we're gonna manipulate this equation so we can get it in terms of k so I can multiply both sides by 2 pi so we get 2 pi f equals the square root of k over m then what you should notice right so what we can do is square both sides right so square both sides Uh, yeah, so square both sides, this is going to become 4 pi squared, right, and then times f squared, and then that's going to be equal to k over m. So k over m, let me just multiply both sides by m. So now we have all the correct units, right, so we can just go ahead and solve for k. So k is going to be equal to the mass, like 0, 0, 0, 2, 5, times 4 pi squared, multiplied by f squared, so f is 4. So it's just going to be 16. So go ahead and do this, right? So just do 0 0.00025 times 4 times pi squared, and then multiply that by 16. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that k is equal to 0.1579 and so on. Um, you can just round, so you can just round to 0.16. And this is measured in Newton over meters. So yeah, so this right here, uh, you can round however you want, but 0.16 Newton over meters, uh, that's going to be the answer to A, right? So this is the effective spring stiffness, constant K. So now we've got that, let's move on to B. So what is uh, B asking us for? They're asking for the frequency. So we're trying to solve for frequency now, right? So frequency. Uh, and so keep in mind, we're given now if the mass is changed, right? So the mass instead this time is going to be 0.5 grams, right? So there's a change in mass, right? And if we're going to use this formula again, right? Because it does relate everything. We have the mass, we're solving for frequency, but we have k this time, right? So now we can just go ahead and use this formula, plug in the mass, plug in the k we got from the last problem, and that's going to allow us to solve for the frequency, right? Except for the mass is going to be changed, right? Because the mass is now 0.5 instead of uh, the last one, right? Because the mass of this fly is different, I guess. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and plug it in. So f equals 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of k. So k in this case, I'm going to use the more exact value. So 0.1579. Then you're going to want to go ahead and divide by um, the mass, right? So the mass in this case is 0.5 grams. We want it in um, kilograms, right? So it's just 0 0.0005 kg, right? Just divided by 1,000, uh, just like last time. And so now you've got it like this. We can just plug this in for the mass. So 0 0.0005. So you just want to do the square root of 0 0.1579 divided by 
0 0.0005 and then divide that by 2 pi, right, essentially. And so when you do this, you're going to get 2.82, uh, 8, 3, and so on. I'm just going to round to uh, 2.8, so just round to the tenths place. So 2.8, and then we measure frequency in hertz, right, just like here. So hertz. So 2.8 hertz, that's going to be the frequency we expect the web to oscillate if the mass is 0.5 now. So this is your answer to B. Uh, this right here was your answer to A. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.